So this is a really great question. What is the death toll as a function of the different energy sources? Well, we actually have an expert panel from the United Nations that looked at that. And what they found is what you see down here. And what hopefully is a lovely surprise is that in terms of the amount of energy that you get per death, nuclear is the best. You get the smallest number of deaths from nuclear for each amount of energy that you get. It might not surprise you that coal, oil, and natural gas, they're pretty high. But what is hopefully a very lovely surprise is that when you also look down here at wind and solar with photovoltaics, nuclear is still the lowest. And that's because nuclear is extremely safe in terms of the number of deaths per amount of energy that you get. If you make a wind turbine and somebody falls, they die. And that's because you decided to have wind. And so that hopefully is a really lovely surprise. Now, that doesn't mean that you're not going to have upset events that will occur, like what happened with Fukushima. And again, you, the United Nations recognized that the amount of radioactivity that was released was too small to produce measurable medical effects. It's just because we are really conservative when it comes to safety in nuclear that we ask people to move at levels that are substantially below those that will cause any kind of a measurable effect. And so if what you're really concerned with is people's lives, then yeah, nuclear is best. The smallest number of deaths per amount of energy that you get is nuclear. So uh, maybe your concern is with something else, but if your concern is the lives of people, absolutely hound, nuclear is the best, as you can see from this report. So hopefully that's really good news because it is greenhouse gas free. And even the United Nations and uh, the expert panels that are out there recognize the extremely important need that nuclear pr provides for us in terms of uh, mitigating climate. And it, uh, it, it it's sustainable, it's environmentally friendly, has the smallest footprint of all of the different energy sources, even smaller footprint than, than hydro, having uh, less amount of materials per amount of energy that's required. So it just gives a huge amount of energy for a small amount of materials. It's, it's many times smaller than solar or wind or even hydro, which requires a lot of concrete, which requires a lot of energy, which has some hidden problems there because most of those materials are being manufactured using fossil energy. And so they're eventually gonna have to replace themselves but without nuclear, without that energy density, it's going to be difficult. Uh, to put that in perspective, uh, since the 1970s, all of the electricity that's been produced by nuclear is about 20% of all the United States electrical energy needs. And that would not fill up a single football field above three meters high. So not a lot of materials. It's just a great way to go. The numbers are there. It's up to us to decide what we're going to do. I hope that helps. Thanks for the comment. Keep them coming.